one of the 11 predecessors to Coach Thurston and current St. Francis Athletic Director Irma Garcia. Irma, John was an assistant coach under Brenda Milano for the last two years here in Brooklyn Heights. What does he bring to the table as the new leader of this program entering its 39th season in existence? Well, after the first year, um, we actually moved uh, John from assistant to her associate. And that's a credit to his ability on working with the student athletes here. Um, the, the women have excelled, especially on the defensive end. Uh, he put in a state of art defense, um, and it showed against many of the teams in, in the conference. Um, he did bring most of these recruits up with him and uh, Coach Dotson, I believe. And uh, we're really excited because we're in, going in the right direction. Um, he is a people person. He can speak to the student athletes. He worked extremely well with Brenda. And uh, we look forward to having him for, as our next ho coach. Speaking of the defense and the shift in play from NEC ske scheduling as well as down the rest of the year, it seemed like St. Francis would be down by 15 at one point, only to maybe even take the lead or come close to within maybe two or three. There was a marked improvement in the team on the defensive side of the ball as well as offensively. And with just about everyone coming back from last year's squad, what can we expect from St. Francis for the 2012-13 campaign and even moving forward beyond that? Well, the defense will still be there. They're solid. And we're looking forward to seeing that. But I think what he's going to start putting in is a different um, probably offensive mentality. Um, as I've heard, um, his uh, previous teams, they used to score many, many, many points. And that's the one thing that's missing with the team right now is uh, uh, coming to its own on the offensive end. So we're excited because late on in the, in the year, they start to get better offensively. Um, and so I'm excited to see what he's going to put in place, uh, and continue some of the good things that we're doing, and then just adding on to um, the offensive end part of the, the game. Being a former coach yourself, you can probably relate to this a lot closer than most others can. The aspect of team continuity and chemistry and promoting from within as you have with Coach Thurston here this afternoon. With a young team such as this one here with eight freshmen who are about to become sophomores entering their second year at the Division One level. How much will someone with Coach Thurston's experience, he's entering his 40th year on the sidelines overall when play resumes in November, how much of that will be a help to this team moving on? It's tremendous. I mean, a huge part of, of any winning, successful team is the people that you have in place to take to go into the next level. Um, I, we're just very lucky. I mean, very few teams that I know can come in with that kind of level of knowledge. Um, he actually has AD knowledge, which uh, we, we sometimes sit down and talk about um, what is good for the program, not just in women's basketball. Um, the kids are going to benefit so much. Uh, St. Francis is going to benefit so much. Um, there's some great things that were put in place uh, by Coach Milano, uh, Coach Dotson, Coach Viking, Coach Thurston, and he's just going to take us to another, another level. We made a conscious effort to bring in similar types of personalities, uh, not necessarily uh, great players, but players that would mesh well together on the court and off the court. That's just as important. Um, and players that you could grow with. Uh, you're probably not, at our level, there are very few ready-made superstars. Um, you have to develop them. And so you need kids who are willing to work very, very hard uh, and are committed to your program. And I, and I believe that we have that now. Uh, as I said before, I, um, I'm excited about this about this group and their potential down the road because we'll be together for a few years now. Um, so if, if you're at this position in time, at this moment in time, having those girls uh, with the already a year under their belt and knowing the type of kids they are, uh, I think we've positioned ourselves well as, as we move forward here in the next couple of years. We're talking to John Thurston, the new head women's basketball coach at St. Francis College here on the Terrier Sports Network. John, you can relate to this having spent what's now going to be your 40th year in coaching. Team continuity is always an integral part of a program. And now with St. Francis promoting from within, as they've done with yourself here this afternoon, as well as a young team that's maturing and only getting even more experience under their belts, one returning senior next year in Stephanie Bingham. 
how much more will your team improve on the court, off the court as well, and what can we expect next season and moving on as well? Well, I, I, I never really like to, to uh, talk about winning and losing. I, I learned that many, many years ago from, from Dean Smith. Um, Dean Smith really never talked about that. Uh, he, he always talked about the need for constant improvement, uh, to work every day to get better. Um, if you do that and if you, if you focus on the, on the journey, so to speak, uh, you know, then you, you don't have the ups and downs. You stay focused on the, on the, the daily task of being better each day. Uh, if you focus on wins and losses, you have a tendency to be inconsistent. And one of the, uh, one of the, the goals of our program, one of the four goals of our program, will be to establish a level of consistency, um, not only on the court but off the court. You want, because that's the definition of a program. Um, you can put together a team that's, uh, you know, that's that's good one year, but you want to you want to be competitive every year, and I think the only way you can do that um, is to focus on the process of continuous improvement. There's always a way. There's always a way to get better. Um, so you won't hear me talk an awful lot about this is a big game. Uh, I think th- there's a danger involved in that, or we need this win. All right, we want to play. We take each practice one at a time. We take each play one at a time. Each game one at a time. Uh, and I and I think in in the end you have a a much more consistent um, and competitive product. Jaden Daly here on the Terrier Sports Network joining us now. The team's leading scorer and rebounder from this past season, freshman forward Jamie Vinay. Jamie, you got to know Coach Thurston from his days as Brenda Milano's top assistant. Now as you move into your sophomore campaign and John moving into his first year as the head coach, what do you expect from this team moving forward? Um, after everything that Coach Thurston has done for us uh, this past season, I think next year is just going to be even better. Um, we're going to get a lot done. We're going to improve on what Brenda's already taught us, and I think we're just going to have a lot better season next year. Joining us now, freshman forward Jessica Kaufman, who made a big impact in the low post in her first season in Brooklyn Heights. Jessica, Coach Thurston was an assistant this past season, now replacing Brenda Milano and St. Francis promoting from within. How much does that help team chemistry with just about everyone coming back from last year's squad on to next season? I think it's going to be great. Um, Coach T really knows how to you know, get the best out of everyone and seeing that we've played a year together now um, and this is what we've been hoping you know, with such a um, large amount of freshmen um, in one year um, that we can build chemistry throughout the years and then become a really you know, strong team. Joining us now, junior guard Stephanie Bingham. Stephanie, you've been through three years with Brenda Milano, the first two years of Coach Thurston's tenure as an assistant. To have a program that promotes from within and bringing mostly everyone back from last year's team. What does that mean for the team next year as you move into your senior season? Because the team was full of freshmen and we're having the same players as last year and the coaching staff, we have Coach John stepping up. I feel it brings a sense, I mean a stronger sense of togetherness. I feel like everyone is going to know the flow of the game from last year and we're going to I just feel like now the freshmen they're matured, they, they have an understanding of what the game expects more and of what the program expects more of us as well. All the things that we talked about kind of kicked in in the last third of the season. We do an extensive job here of um, uh, reviewing every game. It's, we don't just play the game and then put it away. Uh, we do. It takes us about four hours to edit a game. We give them a, a, uh, a what we call a goods and teaches tape after each game, which takes anywhere from a half an hour to an hour. We grade every play, every player, every play. Um, so when they take all of those things and they put them together, all right, at the, by the end of the year, you could see uh, just a growing confidence uh, because they were, they were making the adjustments. All right? They had seen it. They had heard it. They don't like it in the beginning all right, because it puts in a lot of extra time. But I think they saw the benefit of it. And we hope to continue that process by, by having uh, continuity in the coaching staff and with assistant coaches. Uh, and, you know, we'll do something similar. We'll probably be somewhat different on the offensive end. Uh, but I think that that's going to help us, help us down the road. But the most important thing is 
All of our players now have at least 30 games of college experience under their belt. That's huge. That's huge. Some players have, will have had uh, 90 games, some 60. So we'll have some talented uh, new freshmen next year, but basically we go from being a inexperienced team to one that has some games under their belt. John, best of luck to you. Congratulations once again. Thanks, Jaden. I appreciate it. Head coach John Thurston introduced as the 12th head coach in St. Francis College women's basketball history on a day where the New York Jets introduced Tim Tebow as their newest acquisition. St. Francis brings in a big star of their own, John Thurston, the new head man here in Brooklyn Heights. And we will be here to bring you Coach Thurston's inaugural season every game possible here on the Terrier Sports Network.